We got Cobb coming out Cobb again. Cobb going with the wolf? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> Muffle's back. Muffle. We saw Muffle right yeah, away. I Inkling. think it was actually at the very beginning. Yeah, that was, the that was our, first our first set. First one we commentated today. Get the Inkling pick, and I'm probably going to get the Bowser. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, the great Bowser. Lots of Bowsers that we've seen, mostly because Cobb is up on screen for the second time. But, you know, between um, Cobb and Triv, Trivium. Like, they're, again, I feel like we're just seeing a juggle of different characters that I just don't usually see. You see a Bowser in the crew battle, too. That's going to be We got nice. Bowsers everywhere. We got Bowsers and Corn. That's what we got in Indiana. Corn? Oh, Corn? Yes. <laughs> it's all Corn. Corn and Limestone. I think you may have noticed all the limestone buildings on campus. Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's all, like, that locally sourced. I see, I see a lots of limestone in South Florida, too. The limestone uh, for uh, the Lincoln Memorial came from around here. It came oh, from, like, wow. 35 That's minutes amazing. out here. Gets the up smash, catching the jump. We got an orange Bowser. And this is what we saw from Muffle with the neutral B in general, like, trying to push his opponents away, especially if they try to jump into his personal space. Although, Muffle playing a little bit more safe than I was used to seeing him in that first set that we saw. Ooh, try to actually, he oh. tried to be cheeky. Not like this. He tried to be cheeky. He was cheeky. Gets the wall jump into the back air, but because he extended his hurt box and he, because he even attempted to go for the back air, he got hit by that and he's actually in the cluster stop relatively early. That. Cause he got sent completely horizontal. I don't think he was expecting to have to DI anything. I see some cheeky. Oh my god. <laughs> he ran into his shield and he just kept going. Not used to that. <laughs> Great roll though on the ledge, getting wow. the grab into back Excellent. throw. I love, I love every time he's like, how little time is Kyle spent on the Angel platform? He's just going in every time. Oh, the parry to the whiffed grab though. That was about to be oh gnarly. My. He landed it. That was scary. Off the top. So will cancel the recover from below the ledge. Smart, patient. You saw he tried to go for the grab too, and he had to roll behind him at that point. It's the down air. Sure. I like the patience, although no splat bomb coming out instead gets the roller cancel into jump. Also doing a good job of restarting his ink whenever he can. Ooh, okay. Okay, can the jump? Muffle. Yep, he doesn't have a jump at this point. Still, How? That was still impressive. A, <laughs> still able to recover from that. Yeah, because um he could actually still like slightly rise with upbeat by timing the B presses at the end of the animation like properly. He could oh, also, sure. if he wanted to, like, shorten his distance on his recovery, he could also do that by pressing the B early. What was he trying to do there? Dare through the splat bomb? Uh, possibly, but he gets a side B on the top platform. We're He's talking limited. about Battlefield for Bowser in general. Oh, true. Off, off the top. up air, lands on the platform, even trying to go for the up B out of shield. I'm not too sure if that was a missed input necessarily because uh, Muffle was below him at that time. Sure, and Muffle's got buckets, so. Cobb's still, Cobb's still got plenty of lead, especially playing Bowser. Comes through with the fire breath as, as Muffle's trying to come through with this neutral B that he loves. The These platforms, out. yeah, up till right through that platform. It's caught by the roller into the forward smash. Bowser's big enough to live that. Ooh, and good air it, the hitbox set looks a little sus at the same time, too. Sure. Gets the up there on the top platform. Muffle putting a hurt on top. Oh, no. That forward smash definitely was not worth it with the forward smash connecting after getting grounded there. Absolutely not. Absolutely not worth it. I definitely know Cobb is not very happy for that failed attempt of a forward smash at the very end yeah. there. Just because of the risk and reward at that point, especially at his percent. Sometimes you got to take a break. Mm -hmm. That bucket's what I use in Splatoon. Yeah? I use the bucket. Yeah. Bucket does, like, the damage when you come up against another squid. All right, so we got Yoshi's Story. Splatoon? Of course, Cobb coming through with the melee pick. Splatoon has some of the best music that I've heard in this game, too. Yeah, it's actually you, amazing. Splatoon's music in that game is amazing. Like, you fire uh, to the beat. Like, the beat is all oh, time. Oh, that's awesome. It's, like, the beat, all the beat, beats per minute of the songs all times to how fast the guns fire. That's actually It's really amazing. Insane. Okay. Not know that. All right, so we got the B again. Keeping Cobb away. Although Cobb, of course, has fire breath of his own. Gets the side beat. Ooh, beam. acrobatics. I love how he uses it in the air, too, to catch jumps. I love that. 
even trying to go for the fair attempt, of course, that fair being pretty big, we were talking about that earlier, as it actually, um, Ooh, the, the whole hitbox good. even ends up directly below, like, his center yeah. part of his model, too. Oh, couldn't quite capitalize with the fair there. Do love the do love the pressure he puts with the splat bomb straight up like that. It's putting Cobb in some unfortunate situations. Yeah, he's almost at 150. He's putting our hurting on the King of Koopas. Yeah, the upper. Big boy living though. Of course, because we got oh, Lord. the heaviest of characters here. And that's is that's he the yeah, I believe he is okay. actually. But um aside from that too, like when you have a stage like this where you got the slants at your advantage for fire breath and you got that top platform, we're all we we're talking about how rage isn't as prominent, it's still in the game. Yeah. And like the big the big boys, the big boys like the most. Oh, great job weaving in and out of like where that splat bomb was gonna like fall and bounce. Looking like he's not the heaviest in the game right now. He's looking mobile. <laughs> he's 200%. This man looking like he's sudden death XP. <laughs> when are the bombs gonna fall? At 300, if he actually lives at the percent. But using the down air unsafely, back throw is not gonna do it. Is he actually gonna live to sudden death though? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> that trade though was so much in his favor. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Yep. With that trade. Crowd is loving this. Yeah, Cobb's still up. Two stocks that definitely not wor uh, working out in his favor, but not really working out in Muffle's favor. See, Muffle's actually trying to be really patient and keep a call stage, but I feel like it, it could be mentally tilting sometimes if you can't close out a stock, especially if your opponent is living to 233%. <laughs> I still can't believe that. I thought people didn't die so late in this game. Oh, I oh, love the game. weight. I love the weight there because at the last game, he actually tried to follow up in a tech situation with the roller. But yeah. since the body was too low on the ground, it actually didn't work. So right there, he just waited. The, the new tech. Stop moving the new tech. Really jumping into that back air. Yeah, he gets one side B. Cobb's got this. And we're going to... Game three! Yep, they really feel like that. Oh, we got, we got the clumsy Koopa. We got the taunt. Really good stuff to Cobb. Yeah, that was a emphatic run back. Yeah, living that long definitely helped him out in general. Oh, and yeah. When that trade came out, definitely, Inkling doesn't want to trade with Bowser like that, especially against a forward smash. Where, where are we taking him? Okay, Island. In general, though, of course, oh. Muffle taking game one. Mm -hmm. He's still in this. But the game three, I feel like in general, maybe, I, I, I do appreciate the fact that you you do. Oh, I was, gonna, I was gonna talk about how like, I appreciate the fact that Roller was coming out as often as we saw it, but I feel like Muffle relied on it Roller too what? much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Which one? one oh, okay. Oh, please. Oh. All right, is it, is it, he, the cop didn't care. He was like, you really want to try me right now? This is a tournament. You yeah. taunt and I'm going to hit you. This ain't no Wi-Fi. <laughs> this is like the psychological pick. This is like uh, Mango going Link against, uh, 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 against Kage. He's trying to like go like the rival and taunt right away. I'll be honest though. I don't think Muffle was doing, doing bad necessarily with Inkling. Like his Inkling was definitely putting in some movement, but. Well, yeah, like what are you going to do? It's Bowser. He can live to 200 and something. All right, but Mario also combos the heck out of Bowser off of that oh, very right. old school combo that we used to see back in the day. Yeah, some anti-combo there. We usually do go for the up throw rather than the down throw as usual from the last game. Oh, he hits him with the flood. We even okay, trying to go it. for the cape off stage to try to give his recovery. Yeah, that's some old stuff. Oh, stops in midair. But cops got you with the Whirling Fortress. That was so smart with the up smash. My guy. Yeah, we're talking about downers out here, but Mario's down here, especially when you fast fall, like keeping you in place. Oh, such patience from Mumble. Shields look like an m, m but he lived to capitalize on it. Got the cheers coming out. I think I think we got the That's melee shield poked. Out. I can't believe that. So many things shield poke in this game. The fire. Oh no, he inputted fair. Wait, he, wait, wait. He's still oh, living. He's what got, a legend. He's got the wall to help him out. 
Looking like tick the TikTok clock at Mario 64. Just wall kicks for days. <laughs> it falls right into that side B. Right onto the platform. It's... Oh my! All right, all right, Muffle. We're known for three-pointers out in Indiana. Is, We're not known for dunks. This is the character that we needed to see from frame one, man. Frame one was a taunt. What do you know? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you kind of saw that. Oh, the bit, the like Cobb actually not trying to overextend with the drift back from the fair. We got jabs coming out, flanking. That up tilt. Covers so much of the platform, and I think Mobile knows that because he's getting nowhere above top. We're only kind of seeing the flood uh, off the ledge. I think it was like the first time we saw like flood. Yeah, because I feel like he was just more so going for the cape instead. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he had Ooh, no jump. I don't think he realized jump. that he didn't have a jump. Yeah, really. he was he was he was planning some more jump shenanigans. It looked like he was gonna go for the wall to get a wall jump, just like we saw. Oh, oh the, slant, dunk. the slant too, setting up in a very weird angle. Going for the high recovery, straight, really strong awareness from Cobb. Oh, Muffle out here, getting like the, every little hit, trying to keep Cobb off his game. Finally gets, a Cobb finally gets some percentage on Muffle there. I like the respect that Muffle has here, regardless of being at like 0 to 3%. Uh -oh, uh -oh. He knows what Cobb is capable of doing, especially with Bowser. Especially with the aggressive turtle. Oh, yep, the, yep, like, Ooh, exactly that as we saw, school. yep, that, exactly what we saw from what he was able to do with that second stock. He did the down air into the up smash. Being very similar with that last stock. Good stuff to Muffle, though. Yeah. With the character switch really helping him out. We he, we surprised us. We thought we were, we were ready to talk about like how he was going to use Roller and his advantage on Yoshi's Island. No, just Mario. Taunt game one. <laughs> Taunt stock one. Comes through at the dunk. Yeah, I'm got actually... The black and white Mario, the Foreman Spike. Really smart of him to actually use Mario in that matchup. I was talking about, like, I, his inkling was really solid, too, but obviously having an also really solid Mario um really helped him out in that part. I feel like, you know what it was, is that... The, the pressure that Mario has when he does get that grab, it really set Cobb up to play a lot more defensively than what we were seeing earlier. We're talking about how aggressive he was, but I felt like he was forced to play in a different way that he just didn't want to play in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. especially being off stage, <laughs> he kept getting caught by these fairs too, because he kept jumping by the ledge. Yeah. Oh. We had Cobb going like so in game two when he made a 1 1. And then, man. Muffle was just like, okay, I'll see you and raise you. And I'll just like go as aggressive as you're going, see what happens.